When I voiced Prime for the very first time, I was living with my brother Larry, he was a Marine, and I said, I'm going to an audition. I'm going to be a truck. And he started to laugh and he said, he said, a truck. And I said, this is a leader. This is a hero. And his demeanor just changed. He just went, well, Peter, if you're going to be a leader, be strong enough to be gentle. And I got to the audition and I said, my name is Optimus Prime from the planet Cybertron. I had no doubt that this is what a hero should sound like. And I was convinced I was going to get that role. This is an emergency. Can you hear me, Mirage? Roll out. Hey, who the hell was that? Peter Cullen gets behind that mic and he goes deep into Optimus Prime mode. You're like, whoa, this is really happening. We have one last hope. Stephen Capel Jr. really is sensational. He's thoughtful, he's energetic, he's moving. He instills that confidence. Take the wheel. Damn, yeah, baby! Every Transformers movie, Optimus Prime and a lead human being are always close. And this is the first time in a film where you see these two characters who are trying to figure things out. You brought a human here. Transformers Rise of the Beasts has the same ingredients that were there at the beginning. There is that integrity, there's a dignity, there's courage. It's an honor to be able to do this character. I've talked with a lot of people that grew up with Transformers, and I don't take them for granted. I love you guys. This is Optimus Prime, June 9th. I invite you to the movies. centuries, our kind has stayed hidden on Earth. But darkness has found us again. Prime. This is about the fate of all living things. Unicron is coming. I thought we were boys. You want it? Come and get it. You brought a human here. I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. Think you hold the lane when you haven't met the aim. Stop! Stop! This is not our war. Optimus, we must trust each other to protect the home we all share. How big can this guy be? Uh, he eats planets, so, like, way bigger than a planet. In the end, everything you cared for will be consumed. Maybe there's another way to save our home. You've never faced anything like this. Let them come. Yo, Noah, take the wheel.